This is a meeting of the Whitley Board of Assessors on August 15th, 2024. First agenda item is approval of minutes from 717. Any motion to approve the minutes of, of uh, July 17th, 2024? So moved. Agreed. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. It's really, do we need roll call vote? You're doing that. Um, no. Okay. We all agreed. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, inspection review. I, I guess I see that uh, you've been going out making some inspections. Stephen with uh, what, David? Yes. Uh, you sent me a list today, I guess, of the ones you went out last week and the ones you went out today. That, Did anybody else see that? Is that the list that you sent? No. No. Uh, no. Do I, you, you have a list? you have a copy of that? Um, so it's on your phone, I guess. It's on your that list. specific list, um, I can send it to the two of you um, through email, okay. but that that kind of encompasses everything. I think the most uh, important ones are going to be on this uh, new growth uh, report. And so here is the list of um, inspections that will contribute to the new growth. Uh, so what you said, Fred, was um, just an interesting yeah, uh, residential and commercial. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that was all building permits that right. had been bought. Right, building permits were bought. Right. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Right. I thought you guys were interested. Yeah, I found it interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's it's seeing that uh, uh, especially Norse Farm. Yeah. Two hundred eighty yeah, million. A, yeah, the big one. Uh, yeah. Well, I noticed driving here today that they're up this end of the road too which i hadn't realized there was a sign what well, over here well that's the field that they're doing here yeah. yeah they own all these fields over here yeah i didn't know that was them that's a big hunger yeah. change yeah what's that? okay um, oh that's 28 minutes i remember okay yes, so before we, we get into into looking at the uh, once you've inspected, you went out last week and, and you went out today during the during the daytime. Yes. And between uh, morning and noon. Let me ask: Did you tell people beforehand that you were coming? No. Okay. There was no notice sent out. And did you go inside of any properties? Um, not all. We did go inside of some. Just... Did you want like specific ones that we entered? Well, no, I'm just, I'm just, just wondering because I thought we, the board here decided that we wanted to participate in some of the inspections, and I think we also. I mean, we expressed the idea that most uh, inside inspections would be during the evening hours when people were home. That during the daytime, you don't see many people home because they're working or school or whatever. Sure. Uh, and it would be difficult to, to do it during the daytime. Uh, for residential, now commercial is different. Commercial, you probably have to go for, during their business hours, which are in the daytime. So I, I, I you, you've been out twice, and I, I, I assume there's more days coming for inspections. So yeah, there there are none scheduled. Um, the next big round will be the commercial inspections, um, in which we'll have an inspector come out. Um, and for these ones that we uh, went to today and last week, most of them were. Um, like exterior, like features, the things that you know, all of them weren't good to uh, going into the residence, like uh, maybe like a three season uh, porch, 
or like other additions like that, demolition. Um, the only like really interior renovations were the, the former town admin, when we went to we her property. Um, and that was like, yeah, that's all that noise. Yeah. And that, this was partly, what was his name, Dave? David. Wasn't that last time he needed to get some in before? This yeah. upcoming week. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So, so that we kind of rushed. Well, not rushed, but like we did them last week. At the point of doing some scheduling session. early. Yeah. Yes. But the plan definitely is to have be accompanied by board members. Um. Okay. And when you say we, I don't want to ask a dumb question. That's the firm we've been working with, and Stephen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. 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 And well, it was specifically the man we met right and he's and do i remember right that he said he only does the residential and different people do the commercial yes there'll yeah. be another team coming out to yeah, do the commercial sense. yeah okay so how do you guys feel about the inspections they did so far are we well i guess we'll, we'll look and see what they were but right should we just accept what they've done I, well, I, I, I've i been to so many properties. To me, it's either either or works, but I'd like to participate so I get myself yeah. used to Massachusetts properties right. versus Florida properties. Right. Just so I can start to get on board as to what I'm supposed to be looking for, things like that. Um, how many did you do? Uh, it looks like 11 and 12 each day. 12. Uh, that's a lot of inspections. So... Yeah, so it's about, uh, about uh, two dozen with different uh, information and results yielded from each. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most important for this is going to be looking at the ones that will be contributing to new growth for this year. Yes. Um, and from those, you'll see they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, um, and new growth meaning? Build jobs, permits. Um, yes, permits um, and different ad additions or renovations right. that increase the okay. assessment that will add. And to that's the, again that space. Very similar to what the list that Fred sent me: roof siding, windows, uh, stuff like that. Chimney, I see. Oh, that's that might be a different list because we we don't we're not assessing for for the chimneys. Is that from it's the building, building lift, permits. permit list? Oh, from the, the that's what he's looking at. Yeah, okay. Fred sent to me. I thought I should print it out. And uh, how are you determining about? This is the ones you looked at, what, last week? Um, that this it's both weeks, it's the ones that and are generating a higher assessment. Uh, this right? is separate. It's both weeks, it's whichever ones are generating a higher assessment. Um, it's whatever ones had um, alterations that increased the assessments. In some cases, um, like we went to one where there was a demolition that wouldn't add to, to new growth. Um, but we recorded that visit uh, in the camera system, noted it on the card. Um, okay. Uh, so you have another list there? Other um, this is building permits from like our last meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's not the list of every place they went and looked at. Is it, are you asking for that list? Yes. Oh, um, all right. For that list, I can. Well, okay. okay. That's one. The, uh, and these are ones that you actually, okay, new growth or change the value? Change the value up. Up, uh, well. Can you make a copy of this? We all need to see this and look at it. All right. <laughs> Some of them just. Here weird. I mean, mm -hmm. the building permit was for, and I know some of these for hundred thousand, and they're increasing the value of forty two thousand. Shouldn't we be closer to the building permit? 
I don't know. Well, based on how you presented it, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, your question, should we just accept their inspections? Well, first of all, were you invited to go? Did you know no. they were doing inspections? No. Well, that I do what I want to say. Not formally, I knew they were doing them, but they didn't say, come join us next okay. Thursday at, at 10 o'clock and we'll go do them. Okay. I kind of knew they were going out. I didn't know exactly what day or what time. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, your question, should we just accept them? To me, that was... We wouldn't have said yes to them doing them otherwise, since unless you have some additional thought process. Um, I I also I'm surprised at the not giving notice because that was something you Waitley's historically been tried very hard to do and the has been a topic of discussion several times. So is that not a requirement? Is that just a, a practice? And if it's been the practice, but it's not required, what do we want to do going forward? As far as I know, maybe that's a practice of our RG. That is not the practice of this town. What, which, not giving notice? Right. Okay, yeah, no, I'm saying the pra ten practice of the town has been to give yeah, notice. Right. And we've discussed that several times. Right. And we've asked you, how are you giving notice? And you had several options from phone calls to email to mailings, letters, and even the postcards like we were doing, and I guess... This board never got a final answer. How were you contacting people? And even even last week, I, I guess when the, I met formally with you and David, uh, you know, we looked at the the postcard that we were using before, and I assumed something like that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I can speak to to that. Um, so as I have been learning all the intricacies of the office. Um, pretty much, I guess I, I have been in contact with with Cynthia, but not having much kind of guidance as to everything in the office. Um, I've been a little overwhelmed with that. Um, and then I guess the, the timeline in which these uh, last two inspections needed to happen I just, I didn't have the time to get them out. Very yeah, but I, I think, I think your question is, are we comfortable with a practice of not contacting residents ahead of time? Right. Maybe commercial properties as well. Right. Um, these are permits pulled and uh, you and the appraiser went out and gave a value to what they did, more or less. Correct. As it, I didn't think it was common for a full permit to require a town to, to advise the people that were coming over uh, to look at what you've done. Uh, you usually advise them you're coming over. Uh, right. It, it wasn't, is we it, advised them from the, Board of assessors that we were coming out to look gotcha. because okay. they had a permit. Not, yeah. you know, I, 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 I guess it wasn't because just they had a permit. We want to see what we're doing with the permit. Right, right, right. Was, I might have stumbled through the question, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so these have all been these have been pulled, and you've gone out, and you've done these. Um, getting ahead of the question, should we be involved? Based on what I'm looking at. Based on the competency of the people doing the inspections, would it benefit us to go out of there and see it again, or do we trust what we've seen based on this report? Now, I'm not looking. I'm looking at just numbers here. I don't know. You said one was appraised for 
uh, 40 when it was a hundred thousand dollar deal. Yeah, yeah we need to match up the um permitted amount to each of these. Yeah, the mobile home, like 151 River Road. That says 40 for words. Where do you get a hundred thousand out of? Of uh, uh, course, it has just not look on here. Oh, so now I got to go to Vista. Okay, right. I got you. Got you. Got you. Right. Right. Okay. So, okay. Mobile um, home is there's value in at forty seven thousand. Yeah. Forty four seven. And they added a mobile home. Um, well, you get a twice. Okay, shown it twice. I guess the further down, it's also shown mobile home added mobile home. So I don't know. Oh, oh. so is it both combined? You want to, no, I'm sorry, that's yeah, a one mistake. Thing. So which is a mistake? The um, the top one is in error. The mobile home. Uh, yes, it's listed it's twice. It should only be listed once. So it is the forty-seven thousand. Okay. okay, so increase in assessment. This look, look at it, that one compared to the building permit was what a hundred thousand. Well, that's what I'm saying is this chart doesn't have the building permit numbers. No. Oh yeah. But so you have them here. Well, that's what he said. That's me. what I said. I know. And I. Uh, That's just hard to match them up. It's 62. Uh, can I see the cards that you have? I think it will help. They're in math. That's residential. Hard to match that up. I, I, yeah. I had a problem printing that and getting everything. No. One, uh, 151 River. 151. 91 River Road. 151. It's towards the bottom of the list for the first page. Okay, well, hold on. Let me. Let me... Do the ones like, that you can find. So the like, bottom of the first page. Well, he, he's, he's got, he's, he's, you know, she's got my list, but yeah. Yeah. Look at the bottom of the first page, it's 151 River Road. Did they go in the back? I might have printed on the back. Yeah. Okay, you were sent back. Okay. So, it was for 100,000, was a building permit, and you're assessing it. It's in the back. Ah, I see. All right, sorry. I didn't really understand what we, where the confusion was. So, the, Growth commercial. isn't directly tied to the cost of the bird building permit. Within the camera system, we draw out the dimensions of what we are assessing. Yeah. So in this yeah. case, we had a mobile home that was 13 by 52 uh, I get it. feet. Yeah. Uh, right. And once that was auto calculated in the system, 44, um, 47,000. Yeah. That is the difference that the okay. assessment changed. What is, can I see the Patriot card for that? Yeah. Here, this was. I believe that card is. This was before the 209 was. Uh, it's the house before the mobile home. Okay. okay. Yes. I. Uh, so did you actually go inside the mobile home? We did not go inside. Where's Where's the the value here for the mobile home? Um, that value is written on the front. These cards are all directly like um after our inspection. And so on most of them, uh, I was good about showing the uh, new uh, assessment. I, I guess, I, I don't know, you're picking a number out of the air to me and you want us to accept it. Well. If you're that much difference, I, I mean. It's a big difference, but. And and the, the, other, the other thing, Stephen, we looked at this two or three months ago. This was in a pile of inspections that we did before before June. We made we made values for the house, changes values for the house, effective year, and other things. It's not a nineteen. It's not an eighteen hundred house. 
the house today has bathrooms and electricity mm -hmm. 1800 Oh, 1800. 1800 house <laughs> did not have that. Did not have that. So we have to change the effective yeah, year yeah, of, yeah. of the of the house. I, I, I'm with you now. It can't be an 1800 house, and that's why it's only valued at 200. And you're still talking about 151. Yes. Here's the. You want to look at the the picture card and. Raise it 201. That's before the, the mobile home was added. I think with the mobile home on it. Yeah, and it's the little note there says they added 44,000 to the mobile home. Well, and, and I just, I'd like to know how you come up with that value for the mobile home because for, for any, any building, you, you need to look at the condition of the building, which is in Patriot. You look, you look at the grade, the, the quality of construction, number of bathrooms, all of that. Where is that for this mobile home to come up with that value? How did you come up with that value? Um, that That's what the like camera system calculates. Yeah, but you have to put in the data. How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, kitchen, don't you put that in? Would you use a, just a square footage value to come up with the 44? We don't go by square footage. We look at condition of the house. Well, the mobile. It's a brand new home. It's a brand new home. Yeah. Then the, the, the condition is probably good, I would think. But I understand your question. Yeah. And, and square footage. To me, is 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 a starting point. Starting point, right? And we, I admit we don't necessarily go with the with the billing permit mm -hmm. price or even a sale price on a house, but we we consider that you know if it's if it's up to a hundred thousand, why is this only forty four? Can I ask when they pull the permit again? I'll be asking questions in the beginning. Do they assign a value to that? Permit being pulled uh, as what they're going to do. They sign a number, hundred thousand. Yes. Well, they, no, they, they, they sign a cost of the. It's the cost. Cost. the cost. The cost, not the value of what right. the work is, but the cost of doing value the work. Value is a bad term. So they say it's going to cost a hundred thousand to do it. To do it. What if it didn't come in at a hundred? What if they made it smaller or something? It doesn't matter. We don't know. The, the, the building inspector would just inspect it. And yeah. That's, so that's, that's inspection. That's an irrelevant. Okay. That. In in fact, most people are going to put less than because you're paying to get the permit. You're paying based on the cost of the renovation, so right. you always are trying to underestimate if you can, because that saves you some money there. You're not because you. Well, the permit's being pulled by the builder, right? So there, I, I can't I can't imagine they're going to underestimate what they're going to do. Uh, they're going to keep no, their but best opinion of what it's going to cost. They're they're, well, you know, if you're if you're thinking, if I hire if if you hire me to do a renovation to your house, I'm gonna, you know, maybe I'm gonna have a contract that says it's going to cost this amount, but I also might have a contract that says it's in this range. Right. Now I'm going to put the building permit in for the lower end of the range. Who submits the permit? The builder. Um, or the homeowner. Can, can the homeowner can submit that? Okay. That's well, it's it's kind of the, the building. The other part in there is is the price of the permit. The building inspector has certain fees where they charge you uh, based on I, I, either the construction costs or mm -hmm. the square footage or mm -hmm. number of bedrooms, bathrooms. And he says this house is... Uh, the building permit is for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what he anticipates he's yeah, going to cost. It's yeah. going to cost, but the fee for the permit is maybe twenty thousand right. dollars. That's a set fee that they have. Uh, I didn't realize it's that big. Yeah, there is a big difference. The, the fee is not the same as the value. Oh, I understood. Yeah, it's a percentage right. of the not value. Right. It's a percentage of the work cost cost, right. which is why there's not value. Yeah, it's not value at all, which right. is why, though, you are hoping 
to the, the uh, yeah, so you're going to go on the lower side. We're stuck with the same problem. Uh, it was the permit was valued at 100. Yeah. The assessment came in at 47. What caused the assessor to cut that in half? Yeah, I guess that's, that's the right. question. Yeah, that's how did you come up with the 47? Unless the 247 okay, is supposed to be added. So <laughs> it took into consideration um, the exterior structures. Mm -hmm. um, we did not go inside. Um, so for the interior, uh, we just have one kitchen at an average condition, a full bath at an average condition. Um, for inside, for materials, we have gas, um, forced air for heat. Um, actually, this is there's actually a pretty, lot. No, just, that's pretty um, precise. We have plywood panel, typical wood for the part, flooring participate, flooring partitions. Um, I think Fred's question is that but we, we don't usually do a new home that is average. I just I don't well, understand. That's actually well that's what that's what go ahead, Steve. Right. That um the new home um typically is an average condition. So well not in your subdivision. Well, it's I mean, not like, average. But I understand, but a mobile home being an average condition well, sounds well, appropriate. Well, even, oh, also, I, I think there right now may be some confusion over um, condition and grade. So grade, like, refers to, uh, you can say, quality, like, sure, of the right. construction. Right. And so, in, like, fine plants, like, a higher grade that makes sense. Um, versus condition. Um, it's kind of an assessing practice to have an average condition for all new construction, regardless of grade. If it's a mobile home, if it's a... Whatever. Well, do we know the square footage of the home? Of the mobile home? The mobile home. Um, Probably 800 squares at best. It's in the dimensions. 13 by 52. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's the mobile. That's, that sounds like a mobile home. Okay. So it's 13 times 52. I'll do it. Good, because I'm, I'm not good at this, but. 676 squares. I don't know what the average home would cost to build, but a home costs 300 a square minimum, yeah. and a mobile home can't cost anywhere close to that. No. Uh, okay. I, I, I think you're raising your question of yeah. are you comfortable with the numbers they're coming up with? Makes sense to me yeah. that you're asking it. I don't quite know why you're asking it and why this wasn't part of the discussion at the last meeting. Well, what what were you expecting? We didn't get into that level of detail. Right. Okay. So so we are now we're getting into it. I mean I just got most of the building From permit that, numbers yeah. but, but on the, here. The the the, the one that, that really to me is obvious here it, it's the one right next to my house here. 162 Christian Lane. Kitchen okay, remodel, so. 12 by 6 bed, 6,700. Yeah. The, the building and permit is 200. Yeah. Whoever this guy is, I need to hire him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't, it, again, I mean, how extensive was the remodel? The, were you inside, were you inside that house? Christian one. Yeah, 162, were you, were you inside? Did yes, we did Is that ahead. just the cost per materials? And. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what trying the, to figure out. The. No, except it's not six. It's yeah. They remodeled the kitchen. In the bedroom, the bedroom that they uh, put on, it just replaced the existing bedroom. It wasn't an additional. That's a question. It's a good square footage that they were adding to the house. It they, was. It was. I know. I live next to it. They put a foundation in, and they added a, a, another room. Another bedroom. It wasn't there. The one that I went into, there was already, there was a basement. Yes, there was a basement. They added yeah. a basement, a brand new basement. And they put a 12 by 16, whatever you say, a room on top of the basement. They didn't do it for 6700 No. But that keeps, that stop confusing value with cost. 
Hey. Okay. This one, this house here. Yeah, I know. It's right next, uh, right next to me. Yeah. So what did you? Did you? You didn't change any square footage or anything. Well, well you right. added. Okay, first floor living, twelve by sixteen. Okay. And there's no basement under that section. There, there, there is. Uh, well, I, well I, when I was there, I didn't see it. Right. Did you I go to the basement, basement? I went. I okay. went in from the kitchen and then went down to the basement through this way. Right. If you're saying that there's foundation, yeah, there's there, there's a basement under there. There's a full basement. But but the the other thing, you know, you left the other conditions the same. They they did a full remodel of the kitchen. You still come on the the kitchen average. I I don't know what they did with the bass. The, the effective year is nineteen seventy five when they spent two hundred thousand on it. We don't we don't do that. You got to change the effective year to some some more current number. Sure. Um. Wouldn't that be if the whole house was renovated? Yeah, the whole he, house. Yeah. But he, but he's saying even, you know, that if, I mean, part of this, I think, Fred, is considering new construction average. Right. That's part of what you're challenging. These are the ones I found. But, but, it, but it appears they're just looking at the new construction items and not re-evaluating the existing house, which we always do. We just don't look at the addition they make to the house or a new kitchen. We go through and look at the entire house, kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, so, all of that. So Stephen, mm -hmm. part of this, correct me if I say this wrong, because you know the history better than I do. But my understanding is that the building permit has been a trigger to pick which houses get reassessed. Right. And that part of that process has been assessing the whole property, property. because right. they have to be done every so often anyway, right. not just the renovation. Right. And so what he's hearing is that this she is based only on the renovation and that yeah. looking at the Patriot she how it got entered mm -hmm. is only based on the new renovation instead of looking at the house as a whole. Mm -hmm. Would you agree that that's how the new assessments or the assessment change is being determined? Um, yes. And so um they well the kitchen wasn't complete so to put to change the grade of the kitchen it's kind of hard at this point because they're still doing the work i guess this is what captures like what we can say was effective as of um which date as of july one. Oh. Then, uh, then uh, I, I guess you shouldn't have went in until it was completed, unless you had, unless you needed to get it for last year's taxes, partial, partial completion, and with a remodel and stuff. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's hard to, hard to do. But the building permit says it was kitchen remodel and, and other stuff in the house. And if you go in the basement, see that they put a new furnace in, new boiler, new new uh, air, air conditioning systems that have air conditioning, central air now. Yep, that's in here, forced hot air. So, uh, air conditioning, though. I mean, there are other things we look at when we go in, just not just looking at the, the addition. Okay, well, so clear, clearly, 
Fred, you, you're spelling out that you don't accept this particular one, that you don't think, I mean, may, it might, it maybe it should be the way it was for July 1st, and when the renovation is completed, then look at it again. Well, right. But it, I mean, so, but where you two are agreeing is that the inspections you did with David were not whole house reviews. They were just looking at whatever building project took place. Yes, that would add to the new growth. It, it, well, but. I understand where you, how you drifted there. It, what makes it add to the new growth is that there's an increase in the assessment. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, if it's not fitting with the pattern of reviewing the whole house, first of all, there's an assumption that all improvements mean the house is worth more when the rest of it could have deteriorated, mm -hmm. which is a possibility. Second of all, it's not really meeting the goal of getting whatever X property reviewed in its entirety in what every three years or so something. Years, uh, and years, okay. Years, yeah. So that check mark isn't met. Right. If you're there, you might as well review the whole, the whole thing, right? Right. Whole thing is, which is, and which is what we've been doing. Okay, but but that was never discussed. No. So I guess not. Um, so that needs to be clarified. You know, okay. does do do the inspections they did set the ten year clock at zero? For those houses, oh, or are they wherever they were gotcha. in their time frame? Yes, to the second. Yes, no, these are not included in that. I see. Okay. Okay. Thank so that's for, part of what yeah. he's pointing out uh -huh. is by only looking at the renovation, we've missed a window of opportunity to take care of that. Right. If because we probably won't go back for another 10 years. So in the meantime, nothing else has changed when we know things have changed. You know, the, the other one that catches my eye on here is the last one on the street, 107 North Street. That's Lynn Sibley's. 95,000. The building permit was for 8,000. Well, the building permit is for a shed, but the sheet so, here says interior renovation as well. Right. And it changed the, and again, I apologize. So when I, these cards were directly from after the inspection, I haven't provided you with the updated cards. And on that one, you would see the effective year built as um, 24 for the interior renovations. Right, well, but, but that's missing a piece of the point he's making. Yeah, you're doing it for that one, but. What, what he's saying is, He's making a comparison to the building permit. The building permit didn't, on, have, on, didn't have the interior renovation. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that's this body's purview to care about. Well, I know what, I know what it did inside. It was, a, it was a complete remodel. Did you go inside that house? No. OK, it was a complete remodel and new kitchen. She spent 25000 just on the kitchens. In the kitchen remodel or so, other stuff in there. I know so that. is the, the part that bothers you so, that it's ninety five thousand compared to nine thousand on the building permit? Some, yeah. Okay. How did you come up with that value? Well, once we changed the effective year built of the house because it was a complete remodel. Okay. So why didn't you do that for the one on Christian Lane? Complete remodel. Because it wasn't complete, it was just an addition. Well, no, well, they, they hadn't had... completed the remodel. Okay, that's a different answer. Okay, but you're still yet. a big difference from from uh, sixty seven hundred to ninety to from six thousand to ninety five thousand. 
Well, six thousand. That was so. There was the cost. The the there was the shed, and so I think that is the sixty uh, seven hundred that you're referring to. And in addition to adding a shed, she renovated the interior. Yeah. So the shed and the interior renovation added ninety five thousand three hundred dollars. Okay. And for the interior renovations, did you change the condition and, and grade? Um, change the effective year. Built. Effective year to what? Twenty four. This year. Yes. Let me set go back into that condition. Okay, but you didn't change the grade of anything in the kitchen or the bathrooms. I kind of agree with you. Calling new construction average doesn't seem right. It's no. certainly inconsistent yeah. with how you have graded things. Right. So right. one one scale needs to change. Yeah. You can spend three thousand on a bathroom with pre-formed uh, bathtub and and or shower or whatever five. with a vanity <laughs> from Home Depot. <laughs> And a vanity from Home Depot, or you can you can go to the other extreme and get a contractor in there to put ceramic tile everywhere, uh, a, a jetted tub, two shower heads, and, and whatever. And that's not an average condition for a bathroom, even though it's built in. If you're calling it a 2024 bathroom, that's not an average condition, and we see that. You see it in your subdivision. Sure. Right. You don't have many average bathrooms probably in your subdivision. Probably not. Look, look at that sheet of all the properties in your subdivision. You'll see. Well, I, yeah, so, I did see that. Yeah. yeah. Just so that I, I guess, have the same understanding of condition as everyone here. So you're saying, like, to the... So what is your definition of condition, I guess, first of all? That would be... Well, you, you start with an average and, and you, you you go up 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 or down. So some go go down, but but not because of a building permit. Yeah. Or usually a sale, they usually go up because because of that uh, building permits. You're doing improvements or even a sale will, will give you increased value. Uh, but I mean, take the renovation piece out of it. You can have a new construction yeah. with those two differences you just right. described. Right. And they're not both average. Right. How does your system, David's system, mm -hmm. acknowledge that difference? I, I don't see how that can happen without going inside to look at the property. I, I, I think that's where you're where you're headed. We're just this, guessing. We're well, guessing at this, no sort of that we have. We might have to get into. I think that's where you're headed. Well, yeah. but but. If if the decision is to use David and yeah. and whoever else in the firm, we can't be on two different pages. Sure, sure. So I think that's the piece to take back and get some clarification on is okay. how okay. well not just the numbers but the philosophical. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, and I'm sorry with my, my experience. Too. I, I'm not as fluid as David is uh, in giving you uh, an answer, um, but I do know within the camera system and how it calculates um, that all new construction, at least this is the practice that I've been, been taught um, in, in Amherst with RRG um, and other like assessment, like course materials, like assessing. Um, course 200 from the Massachusetts assessing office something something um that that is a standard practice that all new construction is average okay um, so does, if that does that is that just different than Fred's scale that may be different than Fred's scale um and um uh, we're happy to uh, but, I'm sorry I'm interrupting yeah. you go ahead but I, I'm sorry, I, I say I'm not at, but I'm going back to his point about you can have these two different construction styles. Mm -hmm. So, what do you mean by construction styles? Like he just said, you know, you can have a three piece tub surround, you can have vinyl floor, 
yeah. new construction or oh, you can have okay. high sure. end construction. Got they it. can't both be average. Well, the, the high end construction, that's the grade. Um, no, that's the quality. Well, it part is a grade, but a lot is the quality of the, of the bathrooms or kitchens. Well, it, the, to me, the grade is the, the grade is of the building. The grade of the building itself. Yeah. You know, the, you know, some have trusses, some have two by construction. Right. Some have uh, recirculating, ventilating air, all that outside air, all that. That's that's the great triple pane windows, whatever. Uh, styrofoam blown in insulation everywhere. Uh, that's the great. The condition is when you look at the bathroom or the kitchen and say, well, is, is it quartz countertop or is it for Leica? That's not to me. That's not a great difference. That's a con. Uh, Quality difference, whatever I call it, condition. And, and so, how oh, does sorry. how does the camo system and so the business now it's slowly coming like back to basis. So, for the grade, um, I know it's typically listed as average, um, based on the depreciation schedule that okay. is in the camo system. Okay. Um, and so, changing. Uh, that grade affects that depreciation but, table. Well, but yeah. his, his thought was his quality, not yeah. grade. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a different criteria, criteria. In, in the system. Yes. Okay. And we, I guess, I don't know where to go with this. We, we can tell, or at least we're I can resolve it tonight, yeah. but we're identifying how the scales, how the inspections that they're doing and how it's being entered in the system doesn't match how you are doing it. And right. we have to figure out where it doesn't match to figure out, okay, which way is the system gonna get used differently or are we sure. gonna change our scale, yeah. one or the other? I, right. I think without having like a full command of the, the camera system, um, I think it would be best for just on the next inspection to be accompanied by one of the board members, um, maybe Fred for the first one. Um, and you can see how that is done from like start to finish. Look at the, you, I don't know if you ever um, sat down with um, Cynthia and looked at the, the camera system um, and then see, I guess, that, that process um, and then how that final number is computed. Okay, and yeah. then if there is a difference in philosophy or whatever, then I think it'll be easy to be able to. We, we kind of have, have sat down with it. We, at least I have not sat in front of the computer and, and made changes. She made the changes that we suggested, and we could see by changing the effective year from, from 1975 to 2000, made an increase of $25,000. We could see that. And we said, okay, that house is worth 25000 more. So we agreed. We made the effective year of whatever, 2000 and leave it at that increase. If it come out to be that the change in effective year meant a $100,000 difference, we kind of said, no, that's too much. The homeowner is going to complain. So we need to look at, at another year, effective year. So we, we picked a, a, a Older effective year, I guess, so we lose that value. But that there's there there's that subjectivity and and what the board of assessors does and what we have, I think, authority to do to make sure everything is is valued consistently. Which is exactly what David objected to, because he saw it as subjective. Yeah. Sorry. To not be yeah, just relying on the formula. Yeah. But you you are identifying some ways where the formula is falling down. Right. Um. So yeah, it's going to take some discussion mm -hmm. to figure it out. Um. I mean, it, it, it certainly 
is clear from your your non inspection scene yeah. Christian Lane that it's off. The others might not might not be off or maybe um part of them is off. I mean yeah. I, I guess to for us to be comfortable with these values and and to Uh, okay, be comfortable with these values. I think you you almost need to go inside the property to see it, see the condition of these. And if you've only been in, I, I don't know, I'm here maybe a handful of, of, of all these, uh, you know, and, or you just looked at the addition and nothing else. Well, that that's that's been clarified. Yeah. So. That that was a, a not, you know, that that the history of how you've done inspections was different than how they looked at these properties. That that we've right. established. Right. Um, I think the question of advance notice on inspections that still needs some clarification. Right. Um, you know, the Stevens suggesting looking at the next, you know, that you go along with the next inspections so that you can see more clearly how the information getting changed in the system compares with what you just saw in terms of the property. Okay. And I'm saying to do that, we need to go inside, and and typically we do it in the evenings. We have a higher success rate, maybe eighty percent versus ten. You're going during daytime. If you're going to do all yours in daytime and nothing else. Well, I don't know. Maybe the board will have to go on their own. Remember, the board go on their own in the evening and, and verify what you're looking at. Well, then it's it's double work, I guess. And then who's going to believe it? Your value or So what if we schedule an evening inspection? Uh, okay, that's that's looking ahead, but I think now we need to decide how are we going to resolve what's already been done, their inspections, how are we going to do that? Because I am not comfortable with any of these right now. Yeah, you, like you want to get back, you want to see it with your own eyes. Yeah. Um, well, that or or more information from the from the, the Patriot. Yeah. Uh, well, let me let me go she, back to one question on these. I mean, I, I you know I do I do see like okay a three season room is about the same added value as it is a little bit more than a shed. Maybe they're the same size, I don't know, but there, there's a shed's pretty big. It doesn't say how big the room is. Um, North Street finished conversion from what to what, that's what, and that's not clear. So I do think there is some more information needed, but Fred, what, if somebody starts a renovation process project, should the value change before it's finished? And what defines finished? Well, if if it was new construction, we would get a partial value, like in especially fine plains estates, because some of them were over one fiscal year. So we get a partial value. And then we would go back when it's completed and get the final value. Now, other others, I guess, like I know, on the building inspection, the building permit thing, we will look when there's a CO issue, certificate of occupancy by the building inspector, which means that the work was completed. And that's when we would go out. We didn't go out when they were still working on it, typically. Yeah. Sometimes we, if it was a, there was a big project, Maybe we would, 
but typically we didn't do that until the CO was issued. That was our key to go look because it was done. So what do you, you don't, do you get a CO on an addition? Well, see, that's the other thing. You don't, you don't always get a CO for everything. That's you may true. not get a CO for a shed. I had a, built a shed on my property. They took the building permit out. I never got a CO at the end. Told the guy, I'm completed, come look at it. Well, I don't have time. If right. I do have time, I'll come look. It's if not, not the problems fine. with building permit system. Building permit. So that's why, it, you know, if the building permit, the other thing, if the building permit was taken out two years ago, then we would kind of would assume it's completed and we would go out and look to see was it completed. Most of the time it, it was. Occasionally they didn't do the work or didn't do a shed or, or addition, whatever that, that happens. So that was the other key. If it was enough time where we thought they should have did it, building a shed, say, uh, you don't worry about roofs. Uh, kitchen remodel, it should take two years to do it. But kitchen remodel, probably not. Okay, but so, so so but let's say a kitchen remodel. So I I built it, but I don't have I have a closed room. Well, no, remodeled's already a closed room. So I've done the demo. I've put in new cabinets, but I don't have counters and I don't have a floor yet. Yeah. Is it ready for evaluation or not? Uh, I mean, I have a plywood floor, I but I don't have a finish. Floor. Yeah, you want to see it complete. Okay. And what about an addition? There's no, there isn't going to be a, well, I've never done the, an addition. Kind of the same way. You want to see it complete. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and, and the other thing I tell you, when, when, for determining for like new construction, well, I guess it would apply for others, especially for new construction to get the percent complete. You know, what do you, what do you go by that? Uh, the contract price and say, well, half of it is done. So we we, we assess the value half. No, they're, they're, they're there is the value and the cost are not really related. There, there, there is. I don't know if it came out of the one hundred and one course or not, but but and I, and I've seen it. I have it somewhere. There, there is a, a table of of construction activities that tell you if you have like a foundation that's completed, that's 5% of the value. If you put in trusses and you put in uh, uh, walls on the first floor, that's another 10%. If you did all windows in the house, you can add in another 15%. And that's what we, we kind of go by that value to come up with when what percent was completed. It's otherwise, you're just guessing a number, mm -hmm. but there is that table that shows you for these conditions. You're talking about for new construction. New construction for new construction, there there is a table that shows you what percent you should value at. If everything is all done except carpeting or hardwood flooring, well, that's probably eighty percent or ninety percent of what it said. Everything else is all done except that, right. and, and it kind of tells you that in the table. You and, and, and we kind of would accept that. Well, you know, ten percent is not done, so we we would. Uh, so you could apply that to a remodel yeah, or an yeah. addition too. Right. right, but it's not it's not as extensive. I mean, a uh, remodel addition is only like this room you're looking at. You're right. looking at the whole building. Right. So and, and uh, David came up, plugged in numbers, and came up with these values basically. Based on his inspections, the view, and his um, formula, whatever that might be. Uh, yeah. So I guess we we ran a tape to verify the measurements of you know things like a porch or things that we could like measure, um, and then recorded it uh, on the card, edited the sketch to add whatever feature, um, adjusted whatever um, interior or exterior features and apply the percentage complete or not complete and, and then yes spit out spit up right. yes. okay. uh, how much uh, I think what David and you did uh, come up with these numbers uh, it might be helpful if we had David also talk to us about how he came up with those numbers. Uh, there might be some misinformation from what we're 
discussing. Uh, maybe he has valid data and he did some of the things you're suggesting, Fred, uh, good, bad, ugly. Well, we know that he did, that Fair. these numbers are based only on the renovation, not the whole house. Right. Well, right. right. So we know that. And it sounds like you would agree that you can't increase the value significantly if the renovation's not exactly. done. Yeah. Right. So that gives some explanation. Yes, that might account for what we're looking at. And, and, and not to make some of a difference, but I think a homeowner would, would want to know, you know, if, if, if they had a building permit for something that it increased the value of the, of the house, and that was the value that we assigned. And that was it. That was done. We're not going to come back another year and say, oh, we need to look at your kitchen and bathroom to evaluate them again to see if we need to increase the value again. You don't do that. And I think that's really going to upset the homeowner say, well, you were here already looking at the, the renovation, but now you want to come back again and look at the kitchen and bath? Yeah, you, you Why didn't you do it at one time? You probably don't have a happy camper there. No, you don't have a happy camper. <laughs> and it, And it's Twice as much work for us to do to go back again a second time to look when we were already there. Yeah, and I see that that happening here with, with this list that was already done. It's it's not the whole house. It's only the it's only the uh, the renovation, say. And and even even that to assume a, a, a renovation is average without going in. Well, I can use the example of a bathroom. They're not all average. If you call it average today, in two years from now, you're going to make an inspection and say, well, that's excellent. It's not average. I was going to gonna say, why? You inspected it before, yeah. and now you want 20,000 more for yeah, an excellent? That's... Yeah. Nobody's going to complain if you, if you go down, but yeah, they are going to complain if you go up. up. So, yeah. yeah. So, somehow the quality needs to reflect when it's high end. Right. This addition, this was a, the mobile home was added to this older house? Uh, no, it just sits. It's on the lot. It's on the lot. lot. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if you can buy a mobile home for 40,000. Uh, so how do we want to proceed from here? Well, first, we've got to resolve what was done, what they did, and to see if they, can, if they agree. Well, I think, did, um, Stephen, can you tell from your recollection and from the lists which projects were completed and which ones weren't? Um, all right, well, River Road, the mobile home that they're like a prefabricated structure, so that's completed. Um, the porch on North Street is uh, completed. The shed on 31 Swamp Road, the 12 by 24 shed. That is completed. The three season room addition on 14 Gray Oak is completed. Picture. I think I know that two Gray Oak is not completed, You're still building it. So Fred, if you look at these completed ones, and and I got the numbers from the building permit on three of them, do those look right to you or not right to you? Probably, probably for a shed that's forty-seven hundred or series and room sixty-five. Yeah. But not the mobile home because you're no. saying. Well, and does it that is adding 
value to since that's on the lot with another property which hasn't been looked at that's doesn't that seem relevant added a mobile home with an assigned price right but do you only change the value of the property based on the addition of the mobile home and not the house that was well, already there right well, that's, we, we were there a few months ago and, and changed the fact that you're in the house. Like I, said, like I say, it's not an 1800 house. 1950 put in, when did plumbing come in? So, so, so that growth is not reflected in this number. Well, no, and that's it. That depends how you define growth. What? I mean, that's a change in value. That's Growth, I guess it's what they're defining it as. It's building permits. No, they're defining it as increased assessment. Well, right. But they're not looking at that. They're looking at building permits. They're getting the growth from a building permit. No, they're not getting the growth from the building permits because there there were some building permits that reduced the assessed value, like the demolition. That's not on this list. The only things on this list are numbers where the assessed value went up. That's the definition of growth. Right. Okay. An increase in assessed value. Based on building permits. All these are tied to a building permit. That's, good. That's just right? how they drew which ones to right. look at. To look at, right. But we're saying there's other new growth that is not a building permit. Sure. Or not. It, a building permit was not well, the breaker. Right. If you do a kitchen remodel, I'm not I'm not sure you need a building permit. I mean I think you do. You do, you do but yeah. it depends on like you can do anything something. to your house, you probably need a permit. Well we did we had some that have well and well, that's another, lots of reasons another issue. To not have a so yeah <laughs> when you went to that um one, what would you say was an effective year built? I forget what we put nineteen seventy five or something. All right, let me change this because I just, I just think I was. Yeah. And I think we were in in that house more than once. Now, recently, uh, we didn't go in when we looked at the, at the trailer that was there, and we didn't actually go into the trailer. We didn't want to walk through the mud to get to the trailer. So the homeowner was there and told us, and we figured, well, right. average. I can go back and make that change, but right now I just did it as a, a test run. Yeah. Um, and it changed the assessment by seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Up. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Changing so, it from so, nineteen hundred yeah. to nineteen seventy-five only changes at seven thousand dollars. Correct. That's odd. <laughs> that seems well, odd. So we put a higher if you put. You, you can, that seems odd. I guess you can alter the year to make the numbers work, but yeah. how this is like set up, and yeah. there's and so I guess that that's uh, his point. This question, gotcha, that's gotcha. exactly his point. Okay. That's been his point all along. Mm -hmm. Is that that's how they do it? That mm -hmm. they to know, meet the value to to that they're making what David calls a subjective opinion about the value, mm -hmm. but what Fred calls a comparative standard that he's been working on for however many sure, years sure. he's All been right. doing this. I get it. I got it. Okay. Well, it, it, even if that's all I came up with, that's that's fine. We accept it mm -hmm. because because the, 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 the data sheet page has that value, and that's the value we're going to go from now on. So it's a current value, regardless of if it's the right amount, but it's it's a current value that we looked at this year, and that's what we... Yeah, but it wasn't forward. in there. No, but that's what we would move forward. So it has some some base, some base value to updating the database from 1800 to 1970. It has that value that the database is updated. Because otherwise somebody could say, we never looked at it, we never updated it. To, so is it still 1800 house or not? Well, I don't know, but if you put a value in there that it, it indicates you did look at it or you did look at the consider the condition and you upgraded it some to something reasonable. 
That's the other part we look at. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no, I follow and I agree with you. And yeah. thanks for your patience. I'm like at 30% right now. Um, right. But yes, all right. I see what you're. It, it adds credibility in our database. We update in values. We don't just leave them for 150 years and don't do anything. And we know that house is in that condition. So do you feel comfortable saying, going to the ones that are done and saying, you know, thanks for showing the addition, renovation, whatever it is, but we'd like to not, you know, we'd like, we didn't, we failed to inspect the whole place and we think we should, so we're doing a whole value. And then with the other ones saying, we're going to come back when the project's completed. Well, then people will never know. The homeowner will never know what you're saying. Because if it wasn't completed and, and we increased the value by this amount, they would assume, well, yeah, the, the house is worth more, so the value went up. They wouldn't necessarily assume that was because we did the kitchen remodel. And if we come back the following year and say, well, we're increasing it more because of the kitchen remodel. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our, our basis for increasing it, I guess, because you did a kitchen remodel and they usually would accept that because the value of the property went up. That's so it makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you, but not all. But then, but then it sounds like you're agreeing with the numbers, basically, except for Christian Lane. Yeah. Well, yes, I know. But the, the other thing you you, you got to realize what happens at the at the end of the year when. Uh, I guess we and, and we should be looking at that pretty soon and look at look at sales and what the value of houses have increased based on sales that we we assign and I, I don't know the exact process because Cynthia was doing this. We assign a percentage of growth to all residential property in in the town. Eight and a half percent last year. Every resident went up eight and a half percent. Based on sales. Based on sales. So if you're going to increase your property eight and a half percent, that that's one increase. And then if you're going to increase based on an addition, well, it may be more than eight and a half percent. You may be up to fifteen percent because it's a higher value. So people kind of, I, I guess, expect an increase every year. Very few properties stay the same value every year. Of course, they don't stay the right. same value every day. No, right. <laughs> Right, so you got to increase some, and, and we do it based on, on sales to the end of the year, plus plus the building permits, plus or growth, I guess you call it, do growth. Well, so, so to, to say, you know, uh, I, I guess there's increases every year, whether it's based on sales or new growth, it is going to affect every property. It's going to change. Oh, four dollars. Your overvalued property is going to go down. Well, no, it usually would go up because it's a it's an increase percent. We have to even an overvaluation. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to be around the circuit here. Yeah. Yeah. Steven, let me ask you a different question. Sure. Which of the places did you go into? Which, which one the property owners yeah. even know were inspected? Um, uh, Christian Lane. The trailer, the trailer, the mobile home you went in? Uh, we did not go into the mobile. Oh, you did not? Okay.
They had the North Street one that, that should have been. Did you go inside that one? Uh, no. What did that convert? What's conversion mean on that one? Uh, which uh, one? Sorry. Oh, sorry. 192 oh, North Street? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the square footage again. No, 120 mm -hmm. North Street. I'm um, asking about. I don't uh, know which one he was asking about. Finish convert? Oh, I don't know what that was. Uh, I was looking at the, the last of my question. So Fred's asking about 107 North Street. No, I'm asking about 120. There's three North Street at once. Uh, at the big. <laughs> It could be there. So 120 North Street, we did not go into. That is the commercial property. Where who's the owner of that? Fred Barrett. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, that's not the commercial. No, that's the residential. 120, yeah. 120, yes. So, we so didn't go with Barrett. What did he do? Um he when we went out, he just confirmed that the um, So there was a percentage on the depreciation, um, which lets us know that this new construction hadn't been finished, at least hadn't been closed out within um, Patriot. So that prompted the visit. Um, and this was to the renovation of this section here, um, joining the bar. Yeah. Okay, so what, what's the conversion from barn to living space? That is livable space. And before it was there, it was in the system as the not being closed out, the conversion hadn't been completed, that it was 95% done. And we went out and just verified by word that it had been completed. So converted to finished living space. Yes. Yeah, yeah cause we were there what, like two, yeah, two years ago. Yeah, I'm kidding. But you didn't go inside. No. Okay. Do the numbers change when they're complete? Uh, I don't, what, what? Makes sense. <laughs> Except, how does it happen? What percent was completed? So these are the cards that were printed out before our inspection, and so they don't have the change on them. But you yeah. can see this uh, one. So you're going to know that you this, buy it. Um, just took that off, yeah. and then that, what that, that calculated system, that was systematically this system. Okay. Unless there's a C on right, that would be the yeah. only thing. I would think that would be manager for that. But it's there are still plenty of people who construction. Yeah. Okay. Well, well that's for uh, certain renovations. Yeah. But if, well, any any renovation that was done in Florida, I know the permit guy had come up, close it out. But they don't care. They don't close them out. They're not always. Closed. So they often don't. So if there's an open permit, that's just leaves leave it open. Yeah. Don't so the new it's one system. of the reasons why bother? Why am I paying? In this case, the Frank, the county, Northampton, the town, to get. A permit, if they may, may never even come but and inspect. Is that, is there any guideline law restrictions that says they 
have to or don't have to close out a permit? Should, should, shouldn't there be something? But in Florida, you don't close out a permit, you can't sell the house. It stops the sale, right? This tracks. And if it doesn't stop the sale, then the new buyer is going to accept the non closed out permit and all of the expenses that go along with it. So they want to show the house. I don't know. If so maybe it, it probably happens for new construction where something's for sale. But how many permits are done on a renovation to one's own home? But okay, again, we're, we're all at the board right now, but when you pull a permit, I don't understand why there has there isn't any rule why you have to have it completed. And because usually the town would come out and say, is this is complete, the, the yeah. building inspector. Yeah. And then and once he's done that, he's closed out the permit. Right. So, and you're saying some of these permits are not closed out. Right. How are we going to figure out proper values if they're not closed out? Well, well, the, they the, might tie off of them. I mean, they, they might close them out in that I'm, I'm done with the permit, but they haven't. I, I would it, think the town should know. They've done an inspection, an inspection. Yeah. Right, but it's not the town. It's the county. The county doesn't say. Right, the county. Shouldn't they know? The county. But do they, do they tell the town? I mean, that's what I'm saying, because it's countywide. Mm -hmm. Do they tell the town? I'm not sure they... Well, and that, that's another thing that I guess... I, I can get the answer to that question. I know how to get it. Nice. Um, one of the things that I guess is involved uh, in our cleanup too. So most of this uh, was actually from a report that was ran, a special conditions report. And so anything that wasn't uh, closed out in CAMA system based off of the permits that were entered in. That's what we went out to. And so I guess even if the building, which would be nice, I guess if they closed it out and they notified us, um, it looks like the practice has been to get the permit from their system, enter it into our um, camera system, have the visit, put the percentage um, based on whatever factors, um, and then that would just be our own uh, record keeping. And then we close it out within our camera system separate from what they have. I, I'm a, I have friends who are realtors and found out. Usually uh, when a permit's pulled, it shows up on a title search and it'll show up that it's not closed. I would add a title search. When they, when they you know, make sure the title's clear, yeah, yeah. marked with clean, mm -hmm. no liens, I would guarantee it's not used guarantee. I'm pretty sure that that right. title company uh, knows that that permit is still outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, I don't know. Let me talk to it. But that's, I know how we do it in Florida. I don't know how we right. do it here. But that only applies if you're selling the house, if you're not selling the house. Nobody's saying any permit. The well, permit, that's true. You got to get the permit point. triggers the the. Would the permit would show up if it isn't closed out if a title is pulled? Right. So we're only pulling, we're only checking the title on a sale, not right. on everything not else. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Until you okay. Let me let me talk to uh, let me talk to an agent on that. I, okay. I so so get back. How do we want our results? So we need to go out. Uh, you want to go out? I can tell. I don't blame you. Uh, there's some inconsistencies here, but we're not resolving right now. Okay, and I think I mentioned it in the past that three of us would go out. I'd love to go out, yeah. But our administrator says we can't do that. How many? One. Why? We talked about this last uh, time. Yeah. I think you should go. On, I think you should go at least on the ones yes. that are done. Right. And the others, you should wait until they're fully done. Is Lynn's done? Her construction, her interior renovation. Yes. Um, At North Street, thing. So when the bottom one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So that's five, Fred, that are done. Okay. And well, it is. It sounds like Fred Barron's is too. The, the only reason they don't want the three of us going out, uh, other than 
it constitutes a quorum because it's the three members of the board and they still be talking about the properties. When we're there, which is, of course, the whole purpose of the inspection. Right, the inspection. Now, I'm, I'm thinking if we if we wanted to all go out together, we, one vehicle, we meet at a, at, a, at a property. Mike, you go in first, you go look at it, come out. Jenny, you go in, you look at it, come out, and I go ahead and look at it. I'll want to be ecstatic about that. I, we, we don't exactly say, my thought. I don't I say anything. I wouldn't do to, the, to no. each of us and then come back here and say, okay, what do you guys think? But you've got no, I think you here. should We're go to for, these six yes. that okay. are not. We're looking for I'm looking for education to get out there, start and, to know this stuff. Right. And that will help you get a sense of whether these numbers make sense. Right. And, and talk or how the communication but, needs to go between. But that comes down to looking at the values just based on on additions. No, you should go or do looking the whole at total thing. because these are not total. Right, I know. Do the whole thing while you're at it. And no, maybe. Okay. Well, then we have to make it back to. Our Perhaps practice of a not notifying people, I guess, when we do that, then we're coming out to look. Well, what is the what is the requirement on that? Is there a requirement? To, have you gotten to that? To notify? Yeah. No, a little bit. Is it, I didn't. I didn't get it. It's, it's a lot of information. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think there's a requirement. It's just good practice. I guess. Okay. I agree. It's good practice. Okay. So you have no problem with making that the goal? I have no problem with making that the goal. No. Okay. So there's six places. You already know. You know at least two of the owners. You may know other ones. Um, so do you want me to send the notice and you'll wait two weeks and then go to these six properties? Yes. And well... Okay, and, and what should be done is, I don't know how long poor David can come back. At least, if, if I go, it should be you as well to, to know that you agree. But otherwise, I could come up with weird numbers and you say, well, that, that's too high. We never come up with that value. We're not going to resolve the business. I don't think it's so that he agrees. I think so. it's so that he can observe the difference well, in your practice Versus, and David's yeah, practice yeah, to right. help figure out yeah. how to bring the practices cons more consistent. Yeah. Like okay. if David has that little system, or he might not understand. Oh, he told us he does. So, yeah. For <laughs> an example, since we both have a rapport with Lynn Sibley, maybe we could go out and carry that inspection as like an example. You'll have a card, I'll have a card. We'll both make our Valuations, and then we can plug both into the system, see how those numbers comport. And then, or would you rather me send notice to these six that we've identified, right. and then in two weeks go out to those? Yeah, I, I guess I'd rather do that because I'd rather go with you also. So we'd be looking at the same thing. A uh, quick question uh, Could I go and sit in the car? I can at least see the property, or would that be considered more than one thing? Well, if you don't talk, <laughs> I, I don't know. That just interests me to, to sit here and look at the, then maybe just get an idea of what I'm looking at here. I guess you could do that. I, I, I don't want to get in trouble, but at least, you know, Archie, you know, so would that violate the. Uh, I could just go by on my motorcycle, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that. But it's Pete, this is a question for Pete, because it's Pete who's coming in and saying, I'd like you to change the system. Yeah. Okay. We, I don't like his change. Yeah. But yeah, that's, but if, <laughs> if we're going to follow it, not push back on it, then it's a question for him. The only part that, that is really a question of this is, the deliberation part. Like I say, the three of us go in and we don't talk. We just look and write down. We don't talk what we saw and go home. 
That's not deliberation. We didn't say anything. When you came to my so, house, I don't remember you guys talking. I just said, yeah. hey, just do your thing. And the other part is the three of us are going out as a board and doing our, we need to, well, I guess we can get around that by saying the board is going to these properties this week. That's our inspection. The three of us work for them and we're going into these properties. Oh, but we could you really could make that happen. That would the work three of us to go. And like I say, once we get there, we don't talk to each other. We just look and observe and come back. What's the difference between whether we're talking there or talking yeah. back in executive session? Well, I know it's probably minutia, but it's yeah. enough to get us in trouble, I'm sure. Yeah. Right, but, <laughs> but I mean, it, what is the, what is the actually the concern? Because there has to be discussion. Otherwise, what's the point of having three right. people? Right. So clarify, do we, you know, we need clarification on what, where, when can that discussion, can those discussions happen? Right. We all walk in, we find where we how we get here and we talk right. versus we all walk in, we talk, we get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. can I just weigh in? Yes. Not knowing that much, um, the full um, scope of like public meeting law, but I think that the three of you, being uh, elected officials, uh, discuss having that discussion at the home that makes a meeting and that right. would make it public, right? And you can't really have a public meeting at a yeah, right. that that like that. that makes and sense. So, I think that might be well, it's, it's under the other part site inspection. We can do site inspections, other boards do that. Site inspection, and you can do it. I just asked the, the homeowner question, you know, is there going to be a door here, or a fence, or gate, or Mm -hmm. or elevation, but you can't tell the other member, well, you know, that doesn't agree with what we should be doing. We don't talk to other members, we talk to the homeowner. The site inspection but can do that. Is is the discussion of evaluation, is that covered as, is that supposed to be open? Or is that the executive session? Then, then, yeah, then you get to executive session. We want to talk about individual properties and how we value them and the, the condition and the value we come up with. We can go into executive session and do that. So that's that's mm -hmm. where it's confusing sure. to me is if the, if those kinds of discussion are already executive mm -hmm. session, then why does it matter whether it's sitting here or I think it's at somebody's home. Yeah. It has to do with posting it, because at least if we meet in an executive session here, the meeting is posted. Um, yeah, and it's, even if the, it's like this meeting, you have an agenda, and then the last item will go into executive session talking about properties. Yeah. And that's what we would do. Oh. Well, I, and again, I think Pete might... Whatever you need to get me in would be helpful. That's all I'm saying. Now, I, I guess the uh, without violating uh, anybody. Uh, but just so that I'm like clear, so that I can move forward with it. So you're saying yes to sending out notices to these six, right? And then scheduling the time to go out, right? All right. In the evening. Well, or daytime even. I guess it's available. Also, time this evening. Uh, the other thing, kind of a, a basic question. For the, for the board is, uh, do we want to get this involved? No, is the opportunity to get this involved? I mean, we could just give it to him and okay, I don't know that. Well, that's it. I would be involved in the huh? fact is how does he come up with his numbers and are they credible? Yeah. I mean, these could be very credible. I don't know. I can't tell. But do we want to get into all this, all this level of detail? Because I'm not that it makes a, a difference to us, but very few other towns do this. Oh. They would take this what Stephen did, what, what David did, and, and put it in there, and that's it, that's done. Or they do a drive by, okay, we looked, the house was added, the room, yeah, the room is there, it's done. I think this first report is confusing. Yeah. And until we could figure out how the numbers got arrived at and Feel comfortable about that, then I think you're right. How much involvement do we need? Yeah, but we don't have that comfort level right now. 
I, I know, Jenny, how do you, you feel? Do you want to get involved in all this? It was the looking at the houses, quite frankly, was the appeal of being an assessor. Right. So, you know, it, it, we made the decision last time to contract that out. Right. And, you know, my question then becomes, so is this still interesting to me? Yeah. Well, I mean, from my point of view, some sort of system that is consistent and accurate as described to us and makes sense can only happen until we kind of dive in a bit. Okay. I mean, we don't have to be all this involved if we can figure out how he came up with his numbers and are those numbers uh, reasonable and accurate and it fits all of the goals that we're trying to get done here. Uh, right. I don't think we have to get as involved as you're saying. We got to get to every property. Well, we certainly have to figure out this problem, right? And then figure out where that takes us. Okay. Before we, we look at these six here, what if we we ask Stephen to give us a printout uh, of the property cards for each of these values, well, each of these properties on this list? Mm -hmm. For our next meeting, and, and we sit down and review, and Stephen says, Well, you know, we added this, and this is where the value shows up, or the, or we changed the commission, and this is why. Will that help us when they give us a start? Because right now, I have no idea other than him telling us. Other than him telling us uh, that's what they did. Yeah, no, I think that would give us a start. I'm probably going to get on my motorcycle and drive by these properties because it does have interest. Yeah. Because really, if it comes down to the board agreeing with these values. Right. It's not what they they could come up with any value they want, but it's up to this board to agree with this. No, I agree. And and how do we how do we do that? Oh, again, how do they come up with these numbers? Yeah. It's, it's important right now. Yeah. And once we find out how, then we determine that works or yeah. maybe doesn't. Okay. So. How soon do we do we want to be to, to do that? Are you guys available in the next week or two? I'm available. I'm leaving town next Thursday. We're just a long weekend. I have to go to the car and get my phone because my calendar is in it. Yeah, you said 22nd. You were out. Okay, next yeah. week. How about for the, ninth, the 19th? Can you give us that information? 19th. And 19th Monday? No, what, 19th August. We're talking about. That's a, that's a no, that's a Thursday. The 19th of August. Yeah. Am I looking at the wrong calendar? No, you're not. I'm seeing the 19th. Today's the 15th. Today's the 15th, yeah. Yeah, the 15th. Yeah. 19th. Of, of August. No, that's 29th. Well, okay, okay, okay sorry. 29th, okay. 19th is Monday. 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 Okay. 29th is... Um, 29th. Yes. I'm getting my calendar, but I think I'm free. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, that. Yeah. So we'll meet the 29th. Yeah. Can we we can meet at five it's five a better time? Five fifteen to I'm five. flexible. I know Stephen's the one five or uh, meet at five. Had a long day. So I'm and, flexible the whole day, really. And you print out uh, the sheets for all these one for each of us and we can and you can explain how you come up with the values. Okay. Okay. Uh, but is is it that him and David? Who well, are David, well, if, if David wants to do it remote, I, I guess. I don't know if he's available. Unless, yet. unless you can explain to us how David did it, uh, or or I would think David's input is important in the, at the first well, okay. onset. Then after that, once we figured out, because uh, I think that's what we're all wondering: how yeah. do they come up with these numbers? Right, it's not in consistent with how you used to do it. Right. So how do you do it? I mean, that's not an unreasonable question. Yeah. It might save us a lot of pain moving forward. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So him on him on a video conference would be. I, I think that'd be great too. Uh, that, but I trust Stephen how you got these numbers in terms of what you were working with for data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We All just, right. And so just to move in, where's the microphone? Okay. Yeah.
Uh, well, it's the 29th. We're waiting for a time. Um, we're just waiting for you on the 29th. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, five, uh, five, six, 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 five, five. I'm, I'm flexible. Six, I don't know why I'm doing it. Uh, yeah. I know I, it's, he's the guy who's got to be here all day, right? Yeah. So he's the guy we should probably be working with just a bit. Do we have five? Okay. Does that work for you, Stephen? Uh, five. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. 29, okay. Five, six, six. Uh, you, you you would have have to assume that with a new system in place that it wasn't going to go just perfect. There was going to be there's always some debugging of any new system. Okay. Um, could I just have a list of those? I can't find my yes. Application. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, one ninety two North Street. Mm -hmm. well, one twenty North Street. Mm -hmm. 107 North Street, 14 Gray Oak, 31 Swamp Road, copy and 151 oh, River Road. I just, just circle. Okay. There's an 812 square foot addition for $90,000. Wow. That'd be 199 River Road. The building permit was for 150,000 on that one. That was an engineer. Thank you. Was it ADU? Accessory dwelling. Very good. <laughs> Eight, eight by twelve. No, eight hundred and twelve. Not eight by twelve. Okay. Eight hundred and twelve square feet. That's bigger than. Oh, that's what eight by twelve. I'm gonna give you the exact number you will support. Two hundred thousand square foot. Yeah. Point nine. Okay, some problem there. I know where that property is. It's it's at the hundred eighty square. Where you what? Hundred eighty. Is that right? That's um eighty eight. According to this list, eighty eight thousand dollars. Ninety thousand. eighty nine. Okay, eighty nine thousand dollars divided by eight hundred twelve square feet. Yeah. One hundred nine dollars. That's uh. You can't build for under two hundred. So, so those are just questions. Right. That's just questions. Yeah. That we 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 and that one's not well. I think you've but, got enough so, on the sample list to get it somewhere. I don't know what ninety one. But the, but is that the way you do increased value? Is it based on the cost to build? Oh no! I was. It's, I'm always. I know you're thinking that towards, way. Towards uh, square footage numbers, and I was looking and go, hmm, that seems right. That doesn't. And therefore, does that seem like an appropriate number for what I'm looking at? That's yeah. uh, all right. Are we doing the other things on this agenda? Did we just? Did we kind of just do inspection review? That's it. That's why. <laughs> let's, if we're doing more, let's do more. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did inspection review. Okay. Upgrade computer software. You've got a, you're dealing with a hammer on the price for a new software, right? That's will start in what, January? Yes. Um. So, we just need to wait for the, I guess that's something that the select board needs to sign off on. So they have a meeting on the 26th. Um, and so we'll be able to move forward with it after that. Okay. Uh, why is it going to the select board and not this board? So I um, brought it to the accountant 
because I thought I was going to get the accountant signature uh, and your signature. Yeah. Um, and then it was brought to the, the town administrator um, and then on his advice to go before the select board. Haven't we already talked about software updates? Yeah. It's yeah it's in I the, thought it was already in the budget. It's in the budget and they approved the budget. That's that's not enough. They wanted to sign off. So. Get it. What? Yeah. What's the question? What? Why is? I I guess I'm not sure what the the, the question is. So the yeah. So I guess I had went to the AC accountant just to double check that all the funds were there before proceeding. Yeah. Um, and there were. There were. Right. Um, and. From how I guess the conversions have been done elsewhere, it seems like it was the accountant and the board of assessors that were signing off on the upgrade change. And right. so in preparation of our meeting tonight, because um, I've been speaking with um, Catalis and told him that uh, we anticipated having that signed tonight by the accountant and the board this evening. Uh, but in speaking to the accountant, um, they wanted to check with the town administrator. And I don't know why it needs to be brought to the select board. That was in, I didn't ask that question, um, but. That's, uh, the software has never been brought to the select board. I, I, I guess you're, you're getting, in my opinion, you're getting too many people involved in it. It's something they don't need to know about. Well, they already do know about don't they? Uh, they, I mean, they, 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 they do, but what? Yeah. Is is this more specific than what was in the assessor budget presented to the select board? Um, no. So this is just the document signing off to, uh, I guess, commence the process. I I go back to Fred. Yeah. I mean, not Fred to Pete and say. That that budget was already approved. That the, this specific software, not just the money for a random software. Mm -hmm. This specific software was already approved. Why? What? What still needs to be decided? Okay. And and all the other, well, you get the invoices every quarter for the software. Mm -hmm. And and the GIS whatever updates and the board signs off on it. They don't go to select board every time, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Right. Okay. They don't want to look at it. Fine, it don't matter to me. But yeah, I mean, they wasted wasted their time. I guess. Well, it's also he's waiting to be able to do it. Okay. So it's it's okay. making him work longer with the old software instead of switch to the new software. So if you need an act, you need an action. Well, you need an action by this board that we have to sign off on this, right? Are you ready for us to sign off? Um. Well, no. Well, he actually has the document. Um. He being he. Yes. Okay. And but if we. Um, so if, the, if that is not necessary, then we, we do still have that document to be signed. So okay, one well, of the two of you should contact me. Okay. And when we did select one meeting next week, next Tuesday? The 26th. And that's well, two Mondays. Right Monday, yeah. Would you like me to speak with Pete? I guess, and I can come next week and sign off if you want the board. It only has to be the chair of the board, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, to sign off on it. You want that? Proper. Okay, moving on. Okay. Uh, sales. Dude, if it's uh, listed, it's not sale, but didn't sell. 65. Eight pill roll. What about the eight pill roll? I was up, I was up there today. I wanted to see it. I'm always interested in land. Yeah. Um, it's all the way to the top. Yeah. 
And then on the right, across from Jeffrey's house, about Jeffrey, I don't remember the last name, yeah, okay. big yellow house up there. Yeah. It does, but in the beginning, there's a little creek, I guess. Yeah. So I don't know. But 65000 for 3.7 acres sounds like a very good price. Yeah. But it's like ridiculously good, doesn't right. it? It sounds like a very good price for that much acreage, but none of it's clear. You've got that little possible wetland. I don't know how the state of Massachusetts is on wetlands and bridges and what you got to do to get across that. I mean, that could be a $600,000 bridge if they deemed it. So it seemed like a pretty good price, but it's just raw land. It's, it's but that, there's nothing going to it. But that's low for a building lot. Seems low. Yeah. Uh, but they're listing it. I mean, it's not. So uh, what's the board being asked on, to do on this then? Oh, I'm just notifying. Oh. Of kind of the, uh, the happenings. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It's it's a on the base of it. It sounds underpriced, but when I went and looked at the lot, there's a lot of work to be done there. And the big if for me is is it wetlands? Yeah. So it's if it's wetlands, or they discovered it's wetlands, and I read the listing agreement. It says buyer has to come up with all the inspections and they're responsible for all this and that. And there's there's just nothing there. So there's it's not being sold as a building lot. It's being sold as a piece of land. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if it's a building lot. I didn't if, say, actually, if, it did. If it's, it's not there. Perk, it's yeah. not. Right? Well, I think they That's listed it as a build. I think they listed it as a place for someone to live in the country. So they're selling it as a building lot. I don't know if it's oh. officially a building lot. It might not be Perk. It probably isn't. I, Therefore, I, someone's got to re go through all those responsibilities. Right. So, There's I, the mass laws about yeah. My property guess, being Perk. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm sure it has to be heard, but, but I guess um, yeah. if we're just bringing it to our attention, oh, it's very yes, interesting. Sir. So you, you think people are assigned the long on parts for some of them? I would just say that based just on where it was. So I think you have $10,000 in improvements for that lot. That would bring you up to the approximate amount of lots. Then maybe somebody would. Somebody might. Yeah, yeah somebody might. But it's, it's that 65 is. That's why I went up to it. I looked at it too. So you think it's high if it's not? I think it's, it's, it's I think there's a lot more work needs to be done. No, that's all for the next question. I think it's in line of that much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here, because lots in Pine Grange State Tower are paying, they're paying like what, 55? That's what I, yeah, that's what that's I thought. That's the last 157. Sure. It, it looked like an interesting location, but it looked to me like a ton of work. Septic well, bringing electricity, water. There's just a lot of to be done there, and that's already in more or less where I'm at. So mm -hmm. that, I, I'm yes, I actually called the agent. So we, we passed the um, number four. You you get that from Zillow? Um, yes. Stephen, yeah. uh, that was from Yelter. Um, and there was also a sale on 161 Christian Lane for 895000 Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that house. Mm -hmm. no, that's my neighbor. Mm -hmm. I know the house. It's a nice it's house. Yeah, my neighbor, yeah. yeah. He started at 960 or something. Is that the one that looks out of place? The one on the left? It's on the north side. Um, it's Colonial. You were signing that. I got it. Yeah. 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 Tall and thin. Yeah. There's a yellow house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. With an apartment unit or an additional unit on a living unit on a, in the barn area. 95. Here's the one for that. I got signed the phone there. Okay. Thank you. Hey, that's, I don't know how big it was, but that's, they're strong. It was, it was only about, I think, like 2,500 square feet. They had a lot of, they had acres to the bench. Four acres or something. And then that's, well, again, that's just fail. Going back to a what'd you say, somewhere eight hundred ninety five thousand? Yeah, that's three fifty eight a square, and you had acreage that seems high. It's high to me, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm used to seeing 300 a square, 250 to three. And this is newer construction or uh, bigger land. 
and you are assigning this, but um, check on like this. Looks like I got another one. Oops, thank you. I'm just kind of thinking about that to you. That's it. That's a good thing. Okay. One vehicle maintenance. Okay. Excise tax. Are you assigning here too? Um, I don't know. Are we signing down here too? Yes, please. Okay. Um, thank you. So just the top page. That's good. One vehicle maintenance and excise points. Pardon? Number six. Um, that you already signed that from the there. Signing, yeah. Yeah, that will get a strong um, out of lower it's seven. Any new or old business? That's a, a disturbing. That's the next that's meeting day we said it was August 29th. 29th or 5th. And we're not. If this is all based on formulas. Right there. I'm for sure it is. Stephen and with, uh, David. Uh, and I don't know if you're Jenny or Mike. Do you get the Greenville recorder? No. No. Look, it was a whole article, even the Hampshire Gazette, about Norse Farms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can keep this. It, it tells you what all the some of the, the size of the buildings, what mm -hmm. the buildings are for. Some are greenhouse, some are laboratories, some are what, incubation labs or whatever. Uh, that may, uh, when we do the commercial inspections, tell you what kind of building you're going to be. Yeah. It's yeah. not all a greenhouse. That's going to be a challenge. Yeah, or not all a, 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 a warehouse or yeah. whatever. Yeah, right today. It's so it's huge. Yeah. It's got, well, it's, it's like a city almost. Well, it talks a two acre building, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's the first I see where it talks about the different types of structures. Yeah. I mean, not the sneeze. Thank you. Uh, now, the building permit, I don't know if it goes into that level of detail. Well, the building permit is probably this thick mm -hmm. with all the plans if you want to go yeah. through to see what each building yeah, is, yeah. is identified as and mm -hmm. the size and dimensions. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I guess if you get the plans, you would, you would see all that, but I don't know what the building from it has, what level of detail. Well, and you can see what it has on it. So it's, um, it's impressive. Yeah. But they're very seasons and very short, but it's only very soon. Uh, You're right. This pen came from. Okay, anything else we need to talk about? Anybody have anything else? Okay. See you in two weeks. Okay. All right. Oh, um, just uh, updates for 101. Anything anyone needs from me? Oh, I was called. You're getting on was not easy, but uh, I finally figured that out. Um, going through the program, it's it's a lot of information. Um, I try to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like just a once read through. I do have a real estate background that did help, but uh, it's, it reminded me of my real estate days and it reminded me of real estate exams. So have fun with that. <laughs> I also have a binder of the 101. Oh, you do? That would be helpful to be able to look at it. Well, alongside. I might take you up on that because I downloaded all the chapters mm -hmm. and threw them into my computer mm -hmm. so I could go back and look because that's where the intense information is. The yeah. virtual part is very uh, kind of glosses over what they think the important parts are, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But it's very detailed, very intense. Uh, it's it surprising that there's that much detail in there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all good. I found it interesting. I okay. hope I hope to have it done by September. So, I just want to get cool. that out of the way. Did Dora pay the bill for my NAAL? There's probably enough to my it's a no, you'll find it interesting. You will find it interesting. Informative, interesting. 
more information here. We're going to have to remember. Okay. Motion to adjourn. 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 Okay. See you in two weeks. <laughs>